Well, hello there, friends. Another very much requested recipe today. We're going to show you how to make ghee. What is ghee? Ghee is clarified butter that is a little nutty. <laughs> you came to the right channel all about nutty because we all know nutty around here. Friends, I got ghee right here. You see? First of all, I got two pounds of butter. Let me bring him to the boiler. I'll talk about this in a minute. Uh, ghee is uh, clarified butter. Uh, and this is clarified butter, and this is ghee. You see a little difference? This is golden, buttery, and this is a dark golden, and it's also buttery. You wonder, how do we get this one a little more nutty? Well, it's because we caramelize the milk protein, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do it. So it gives the butter a little more nuttiness to it. Why would we use clarified butter, friends? Very simple. Butter is an emulsion. An emulsion made out of butter fat, milk solid, and water. Why do butter go bad? You know, you have butter and it goes bad really quick, right? I mean, after a month, boom, it's starting to smell funny. The water promotes the growth of bacteria. We got to get rid of it. And the milk solid is what goes really bad in the, in the butter, so we got to get rid of it. And we are left with what looks like an oil. The beautiful thing, why are we doing this? is because we now have a smoke point around between 400 and 480, depends who you're listening to. I say 450, Clarified Butter is very happy. So this is why you do it, because you can cook steak, you can cook chicken, you can cook fish, you can cook a multitude of things and not having to worry about burning it. If you cook with regular butter, 250 degrees, the milk protein are going to burn, and then you have a brown butter. Which sometimes, that's another subject, you can do a nice brown butter fish or brown butter uh, uh, ravioli or so many things you can do with brown butter. You got to know how to do it correctly. We'll do a video about that later. So we have two pounds of butter. Two pounds of butter, friends, is giving us just below four cups of clarified butter or ghee in this, in this video today is ghee. And, and, and the beautiful thing about this, one more thing that is beautiful. There's so many things beautiful about butter. But what is really beautiful about this, friends, is you can leave it at room temperature on your counter for six months, and you can leave it in the fridge one year, not having to worry about nothing. You want to cook a steak, you do it with clarified butter, or you do it with ghee, I promise you, you won't do it with your cooking oil. Cooking oil tastes like nothing. They're not so good. They get rancid, and they don't taste good. Butter always tastes good, especially clarified butter. So we, I hope I clarified the whole thing. And clarified, oh, that's pretty good too. <laughs> I hope I clarified the clarified butter thing. Uh, <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna make, we're gonna show you what to do. It's very simple, right? Eh? Do it two pound. I mean, like I said, it lasts you a year in the fridge. It's gonna congeal. And when it congeals, you just take it out, you put it in a, you, I recommend you don't put it in one of those because it's got the metal on it. And when it congeals, um, you can't put it in the microwave. What I do is I take a little bit out, put it in a small measuring cup, put it in the microwave for maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds, depends how big the container is, and then it's back to liquid form. If you leave it at room temperature, or in a fridge especially, it's going to congeal, make it more difficult to use. But you know, you can use it when it's solid. It's, it's like consistency of regular butters, maybe a little harder. You put it in your, in your saucepan, you put it in your whatever you're going to do. Uh, but remember, uh, it congeals, and it doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with it. It's, uh, I find it's easier if it's in a liquid stage, but put a spoon of clarified butter in there, it's good. So look, friends, we're going to mix this up. We're going to make sure it comes to a, a, a rolling boil, right? And after it comes to a rolling boil, we're going to reduce it down slightly, and we're going to literally... Burn the milk protein. And, uh, and that's what's going to give us that nuttiness I was referring to earlier compared to clarified butter. Clarified butter, we remove them, but we don't burn them. So it's more buttery. It's up to you. This is used in Indian cuisine. We love Indian cuisine, and that's what they use in India to make all their so fantastic uh, food. Uh, and they use ghee. You can use it for, I use it to make stocks, I, I mean, to make steaks and everything too. It's wonderful. All right, friends, we're going to bring it to boil. I'll be back in a minute. You probably can hear it. It's bubbling. And we're going to leave it alone 
for a minute or two while it's bubbling. All right, and what we're going to do, we're going to mix this, and we're going to reduce, now it's high roll boil. If we leave it too long of a high roll boil, it's going to really, really start burning the pot. So we're going to reduce the heat, and all of the water is evaporating it. We want the water out of there. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're boiling it. And then eventually the milk salad are going to fall in the bottom. All right, so it's going to take about 10, 15 minutes for this process. And if you have to mix it once in a while, don't worry about it. You can do that, all right? 10, 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Don't go do something. Stay here. Okay, friends. 15 minutes later, you got a big foam over there. You see? Big foam. And if you notice, we see a little uh, brown spot bits right there. It's going to take a little while for the bubble to subside. So we're going to wait a couple of minutes um, until the, 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 the bubble subsides. And then we're going to go look in the bottom and you're going to see the milk protein have actually burned. And that's what gives us the nutty flavor. So we're going to wait a few minutes for all those bubbles to disappear. And then I come back. All right? We'll wait a couple of minutes. Okay, friends. So now you can see right here we still got bubbles. The heat is off. And, uh, and, uh, and what happened is the, the milk solid that I've burned, I need to fall in the bottom. So we're going to wait for that to happen. And this could take about 10 minutes. All right? So we're going to wait for it to settle in the bottom. Because they are all over the place now, those milk protein. We're going to wait until they fall in the bottom. So let's wait a few more minutes. Remember, about 10 minutes. So now you're done. The heat is off. You did what you're supposed to do. So now let's just wait. Okay, friends. You probably can't see that much, but there's a few bubbles still going on. And this is just from the heat. So what I did is I just moved a little bit of the uh, weight from the milk, the weight from the milk right there. A little bit of, we're just going to remove this. So I have a, a little right there, and I'm just going to go slowly and just remove it. I just push them on the side. See, it's very easy to remove. We don't want to disturb the bottom. So it's best if you wait. Just wait, wait a little bit longer. You know, I'm, I'm just waiting about 10, 15 minutes. But if you wait longer, you wait, better off you are. So if you got things to do, come back in a half hour from now. It's even better, friends. All right? So now, what we're going to do, you know, let me, clean, let me take a clean ladle. Because this one has, a, uh, has uh, some of the milk in there. I'm going to take a clean ladle. And I'm just going to start pouring it. Let me just remove this right there. And... I have a, a screen, I mean a, 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 a strainer, fine mesh strainer, and I have a cheesecloth in here. If you don't have a cheesecloth, you can use a, a bar towel, you can use a, a whatever you want, friends. I, I put it right here. You got it right here, Jack? Right here, you good, Jack? How about, let me push that right there. You right there, you good? Okay, I'm just going to pour this right here. And remember now, be gentle with the bottom. Eventually, we're just going to pour it. I want to show you. You just want to just put, take a little bit out. Remember, don't touch the bottom. All right, friends? Very simple. Let me just do this. Right now, I'm going to take my towels, and I'm going to pour it in. All right? I'm going to go right here. Is it good right there, the end goal, Jack? You're good right there? All right, so I'm going to do slowly. You see the burn beats in the bottom, Frank? This is what's going to give us a beautiful, nutty color, okay? We gotta make sure then the bottom of it does not go in. You see? You'll see eventually you can start to see it coming in. See that little line in the middle there? Can you see it, Jack? You good? Yeah? All right, so we just stop right there, friends. You see? And now it smells a little nutty. <laughs> and then you're good right there, friends. See the, the cheesecloth caught. So if anything really works there for you. Cut whatever you had left right there. And right there, my friends, you have yourself ghee. Quick subject that I almost forget to talk about, salt. Everybody's always asking me, do I use salted butter or not salted butter? Think about ghee as an oil you're cooking with. When you buy cooking oil, olive oil, any cooking oil, um, avocado oil, do you buy salted oil? No, because 
You want to put the salt on your steak, on your fish, on your chicken, whatever it is you cook, the way you want it. You want to put the right amount and the right quantity of salt you want. So you don't need salt in here. You're not going to drink this. All right? Friends, I hope you enjoyed the ghee video. Remember, go out and make clarified butter or make ghee. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, friends. And don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching.